I want to wish you and your family a very happy Palm Sunday weekend. Palm Sunday is one of the special times of the Christian year. You know, the early church, we were not called Christians. They had never developed the idea of that. It was actually a slur against the crazy ones that followed Jesus, the Christians, uh, as they were called, the, the, the people that believed in the bizarre things. And uh, it was not a compliment, but eventually it became the name of the church. How can I give you a better example of this? I'll tell you, uh, Obamacare. Obamacare was first a slander, and then they thought, well, we're going to take ownership of this. We like it. Well, whether you like Obamacare or not, it's a, it's a good example. The early church was called the way. There was a way And, of course, that's in English. It was called something else. Translation loses a lot, but that's the way that it translates. The way. There there was a way that Jesus did things. A a smooth way. uh, a, A victorious way that superseded what appearances told the average human mind. And Palm Sunday was one of those great uh, examples of this. It says in John 12, On the next day, much people that were coming to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took branches of palm trees, went forth to greet him, and they waved the palm trees. Welcome, welcome, they said. Hosanna, blessed is the king of Israel, that comes in the name of the Lord. And then they put the palm branches underneath the unridden donkey that uh, Jesus was on. This was one of the great miracles of the way, the way that he could sit on an unridden donkey. I had a, a farmer friend one time, Years ago, and I was visiting his farm, and he said, uh, he said, over here, Reverend, he said, here is an unridden donkey. Let's see how spiritual you are. Let's uh, put you on the back of this donkey and just see what happens. (laughs) Well, I'm sure I would have prayed as I was being thrown across the field and into the next county. But wisely, I chose not to have that experience. Well, on Palm Sunday, when he chose to ride a donkey into Jerusalem, an unridden donkey, instead of a magnificent white horse or a golden chariot, well, that shows confidence. It shows confidence, first of all, to get on the animal and to have the animal automatically realize what was on its back and to calm down. But he rode the way, a path of humility. There was no self-need to build himself up. And he didn't have to have an outer uh, show of force or flash. He was confident. And we don't see this kind of confidence very often. See, he knew What we struggle to know is that we're one with God. And he had greater confidence because of his oneness with God. And in following Jesus in the way, we have to realize no matter what we face in life, if we're one with God, we can face it without a need to prove ourselves to others or uplift ourselves through outer shows of flash. You don't need outer proof because the inside of you is unshakable. It is unbreakable. It is undeniable confidence in an unfailing God. The second miracle that occurred on Palm Sunday is that 
he could go on this donkey, not in a quiet country setting where it wouldn't disturb the animal, but in shouting crowds, pressing in crowds, crowds waving the palm branches in front of the animal. It shows the power of Christ over a lower animal nature. And we all have an animal nature. And sometimes we need to calm that animal nature. And uh, the Christ, the presence of God, does every time. When we follow Christ by allowing Christ to ride over our own lower self, we tame ourselves in a very calm way and we bring peace to every part of our world. The power of Palm Sunday is a power that can be in every day of the year as we follow the way, as we ride in a very triumphal way into every day of our lives. I wish you, my friend, from my family to your family, a very happy Palm Sunday and a happy Easter.